Hello students, in present video, I am going to explain about second problem from depreciation lesson. This question I am taking from Telangana State, Telugu Academy, second year accountancy textbook. But this video is useful to all common students who want to know about depreciation. I made three videos on depreciation. Links I am giving in description box and in iCard. I suggest you to watch those videos first. Then only you can understand present video. Let us see the question. Ganesh bought a machine for 17,000 rupees and paid for its installation 3,000 on 30th September 2017. On 30th September 2017, Ganesh, a trader, purchased one machine for 17,000 rupees and on the same day, he paid 3000 for its installation. Installation charges are also known as erection charges. Means what? The expenditure which is incurred by the buyer to bring that asset from purchasing place to his factory. And the expenditure which is incurred on fixing that asset in his factory are known as installation charges. Depreciation is provided at 20% under straight line method. Directly rate of depreciation is given in the question. Recollect first problem. In first problem, we calculated rate of depreciation by using one formula, annual depreciation divided by cost into 100. But in second problem, he is only giving the rate of depreciation in question. And this rate of depreciation is calculated under straight line method. Means fixed installment method. Prepare machinery account up to 31st March 2020. Compare this second problem with the first problem and observe the differences. In first problem, scrap value is given in the question. But in second problem, scrap value is not given. In first problem, estimated life of the asset is given. But in second problem, that information is not available. In first problem, he asked us to calculate annual depreciation and we used one formula to calculate that annual depreciation. Formula is Cost minus scrap value divided by estimated life of the asset. But in second problem, we cannot use that formula to calculate annual depreciation because scrap value is not given and estimated life of the asset is also not given. In first problem, he has not given any installation charges to us. But in second problem, we have that information also. Let us solve this problem. When they bought that asset on 30 September 2017. So when asset is purchased, we said we should write that debit side. What to write in particular column to bank account. Purchase date is 30 September 2017. They purchase this asset for 17,000 rupees. Next, on the same day, they spent 3,000 rupees for installing that asset. Now, for installation charges, we should think the general entry. Suppose he has given one expenditure related transaction that is salaries paid 2,000. Then, what is the entry for that? Salary account data to cash account. Why we are debiting salary? Because here salary is a nominal account. It is an expenditure to the firm. Nominal account rule debit all expenses and losses, credit all incomes and gains. As salary is an expenditure to the firm, we are debiting salary. You may think that in the same manner for installation charges, entry is installation charges account data to cash account but this entry is wrong because installation charges 
come under capital expenditure. Salary is a revenue expenditure. What is the difference? Revenue expenditure is a recurring expenditure. Again and again firm incurs that expenditure. Salary every month we pay. Rent every month we pay. Interest every month. Wages regularly. In case of revenue expenditure, we should debit expenditure name. But how many times we purchase this particular asset? Only for one time. To this firm, machinery is a fixed asset. We purchase that fixed asset for production purpose. So regularly we are not going to purchase that. It is one rare expenditure. So how many times you spent installation charges on that machine? Only for one time. Means installation charges also a rare expenditure. In case of rare expenses means in case of capital expenses we should not write the expenditure name on debit side. We should add that expenditure to the purchasing price of fixed asset. Means instead of debiting installation charges account, we should debit missionary account. Then final entry is missionary account at R2 cash account. Assume we are paying that 3000 rupees through a check. Then instead of crediting cash, we should credit bank account. So remember, for purchasing a fixed asset, entry is missionary account data to bank account. Even for installation charges on that fixed asset also, same entry we should write. So this entry we should post in the asset account. Missionary is debited, therefore, in missionary account on debit side we have to post this entry when we spent installation charges when we purchase that asset on the same day we spent therefore even though installation charges a date is not given in the question we should take the purchasing date on the same day for installation charges posting is Missionary is in debit, so debit side we have to post. Other side we have bank account now. Write down that to bank account. Installation charges three thousand rupees. So remember, for purchases and for installation charges, debit side we should write to bank. You may get one doubt. That is on same day we are buying. Can't we write to bank account 20,000 directly? No. It is advisable to show these two transactions separately because two separate journal entries we pass for this transaction. Now, cost of the asset is not 17,000. We should add installation charges to purchasing price. Then the total 20,000 becomes the cost of the asset. Now think about the dates. We purchased this asset on 30 September 2017 and the firm is following financial year. It is not clearly given in the question, but we should understand by seeing this date. He asked us to prepare asset account up to 31st March 20. If this is the closing date, then starting date of the year will be 1st April means financial year is followed by that firm. They purchased on 30 September 17. No? After that date, if March month you want to consider, then year becomes 18. Okay. So this is the last date of the first year. Now, if this is the last date of the first year, then think about the starting date of the first year. From this date, 12 months if you count, then which date comes? 1st April 2017. So, first year is 1-4-17 to 31st March 18. In this first year, they purchased that asset 
on 30 September 17. Observe the date 30 means last date of September month. So from when, from which month they started using the test set from next month, from October. Therefore, October, November, December, January, February, March. Six months. They use that asset in first year. In second year, next date of this date is 1st April 2018. On that day, asset is with us only. And second year, last date is 31st March 19. So in second year, from 1st April 18 to 31st March 19, for 12 months, we use that asset. Third year dates are 1st April 19 to 31st March 20. In third year also, we have that asset for 12 months. Therefore, for first year, we should calculate depreciation only for 6 months. Depreciation means what? When we use that asset, its value decreases. It is called depreciation. From when we start using that asset, from purchasing debt, we didn't purchase on 1470. We purchased that asset at the end of September month. So from October, we start using that asset. Only for six months, we use that asset. Therefore, depreciation also, we should calculate only for six months in first year. But in second year and third year, we use that asset for full year. Therefore, provide the depreciation for 12 months. First year, last date is 31st March 2018. By depreciation, percentage is given to us, no? Rate of depreciation is directly given in the question. So, we need not to use the formula. Here only, we will calculate the depreciation. This is fixed installment method. The feature of fixed installment method is every year we provide the depreciation on original cost of the asset. Cost of the asset is 20,000, not 17,000. 20,000 into rate of depreciation 20% into only for six months we used. From when to when? From 1st October 17 to 31st March 18. Six months we used. Therefore, write down 6 by 12. Means we are calculating depreciation only for six months. One numerator, one denominator, we should cancel. Two thousand rupees. First year depreciation for six months period is two thousand rupees. Then find out the balance carried down. Which side total is more? Debit side. Debit side total is twenty thousand. Twenty thousand minus two thousand is equal to eighteen thousand. Here also write down the total. First year is completed. Up to 31st March 20, we should prepare now. So, continue for second year also. Next immediate date of this date is 1st April 2018. Second year starting date. On that day, how much worth of machine we have? 18,000. Because in first year, we use that asset, 2,000 value is decreased. In second year, from when to when we use that asset? From 1st April 18 to 31st March 19. For 12 months we used. For 12 months, depreciation is not 2000 rupees. No? 2000 depreciation is only for 6 months. Therefore, in second year, again we have to compute depreciation. When? At the end of second year. Second year last date is 31st March 19. 
by depreciation account. Now, this is straight line method. Feature of straight line method is every year we have to provide the depreciation on cost of the asset. Cost is 20,000. In second year also, on 20,000 only, we should calculate the depreciation. Rate is same, 20%. And don't write any months there. Because asset is used for full year. Second year depreciation is 4,000 rupees. On the same day, balance carried down is debit total 18,000 minus credit total 4,000 is equal to 14,000 rupees. Come to third year. Third year starting date is second year last date, 31st March 19. Then immediate date to this date is 1st April 19. Bring the balance to balance brought down 14,000 rupees. Third year last date is 31st March 20. On that day provide the depreciation. And this is straight line method now. Every year we should calculate depreciation on original cost of the asset. On 20,000 we have to calculate depreciation now. Like second year, in third year also, firm used that asset for full year, for 12 months. So what is the calculation? 20,000 into 20 by 100. Already we calculated in second year. Amount is 4,000. So again we need not to calculate. Write down the same value here. For third year also, depreciation is 4,000 rupees. Always you remember, in case of fixed installment method, every year depreciation amounts will remain same. Why 2,000 we wrote in first year? You know very well. Because asset is used only for 6 months. But in second year and third year, as asset is used for 12 months, same depreciations are coming. Then find out the balance carried down in third year. Debit total 14,000 minus credit total 4,000 is equal to 10,000 rupees. Up to 31st March 20 only he asked. We prepared up to that date. But on that day, asset account is not closed. Because we have some balance in asset account. Therefore, bring that balance for next date and leave the problem. Next date is 1-4-2020. To balance brought down 10,000 rupees. Don't write the depreciation on credit side. Because we are not going to prepare the asset account for fourth year. So this is all about second problem. Hope this video is useful to you. Thank you.